Hello, welcome back to another Epic Future Space. My name is Mike. Obviously, I shaved my head again, and uh, yeah, no other changes have happened. So instead of complaining to you about how hard it is to maintain three jobs and make YouTube videos, I think I'll just rather play catch up instead. Lots of crazy stuff has been happening since the last time that I made an update like this. First off, I wanted to talk about SpaceX's successful launch and docking to the International Space Station. Man, I'm so far behind. SpaceX has ushered in a new era of commercial spaceflight. With their successful docking to the International Space Station, they have paved the way for orbital sciences to follow and both companies to deliver cargo to the International Space Station, helping to relieve the pressure off of the Russians, the Japanese, and the Europeans in order to deliver cargo to the space station. And what's really cool about both of these companies is SpaceX can return cargo and experiments from the International Space Station, whereas orbital sciences vehicle, after it delivers cargo, would act more like a space dumpster, kind of like the ATV and the HTUV. So obviously the excitement for this mission has kind of come and gone, but I still want to congratulate SpaceX for successfully achieving that and being the first commercial company ever to dock to the International Space Station. Just the first commercial enterprise ever to dock to the International Space Station. And SpaceX is moving right along. Down at Cape Canaveral, they already have their next rocket, which is going to take the first official cargo delivery mission to the International Space Station. They've already erected it and done a wet dress rehearsal where they fuel the vehicle up and test everything out to make sure that everything was good to go. The official launch date for that mission has yet to be decided, but it will be occurring sometime this year, within the next few months. And at the same time, Orbital Sciences is working on testing out their new rocket, the Antares rocket, which formerly was the Taurus II rocket. And with that, if they can successfully launch the thing, then they can move on to the their next step, which is actually proving that the Cygnus capsule can fly in space and dock with the International Space Station. Instead of having to, to do three milestone missions like SpaceX had to, they're going to do it all in one. Which I guess makes sense since Orbital Sciences got started way later than SpaceX did in the COTS program, but that's all in the past, so let's focus on what's happening now. So hopefully everything goes well for both Orbital Sciences and SpaceX in the coming months so that they can you know, deliver more cargo to the space station and successfully prove out their systems, so good luck to the both of you. I know I haven't made a new video in a while and that things have been really slow, but I'm going to make more videos and I have lots of stuff planned that I want to share with you guys. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, give me encouragement. Every little bit helps to inspire me to make more videos. So uh, definitely let me know what you think and if there's anything that you would like me to talk about, please let me know in the comments or send me a video response and uh, I will definitely talk about that. So until then, you guys take care of yourselves, live long and prosper, and don't forget, add Astra to the stars.